Welcome and welcome back to my channel and we I upload every week about digital art painting and painting in Photoshop. So if you are interested, hit the like button of this video and subscribe to my channel and keep watching or learning how to make this masterpiece. So I'm here with a reference image in Photoshop and making a new layer for the basic sketch using the hard round pressure size brush and making pretty clear outlines. If you are not good at sketching, don't worry, we are just using this sketch for a basic reference and after that we will be working on the basic paint and then adding different effects. So we are pretty done with the base of that method. Then just adding some more sketchier details. Till then, I would love to have you in my little community over here in YouTube if you are interested in digital painting. So don't forget to hit the subscribe button now. Also, I am using the one by Wacom tablet which is pretty good in price and very effective in use. So just making the final edges of that particular layers. You can see I have painted, I have sketched it out in different, three different layers. Here, I'm just running it on one side, selecting according to the layers. For that I'm using magic wand. So going to select menu, expanding it by different two pixels, let's say, I'm picking up the color from the reference image and just filling it up inside. I'm using a new layer to fill it up all the base color differently. Each color is colored on different layer. As you can see, I just selected this area, made a new layer above it and fill it up inside. Similarly, I'm going to select this particular third layer and in the similar process, I'm going to make a new layer and paint it up. So here, I've painted all the four different layers with the different colors. That butter part, I'm going to paint in another, another top layer of all of those. And here with the honey layers. I'm just repeating the process and painting it up. Select the color according to the color in the reference image. If you are watching my channel for the first time, I would welcome you to have a look on my different kind of painting experiences and different painting techniques that I show every week for different things to paint with. You can have a link of all those videos in the i box or in the description below. Make sure you have a look at them once done with this. So selecting each of the layer by hitting Ctrl and clicking on that layer thumbnail and just clicking on the layer mask icon. So masking each of the layer like that, selecting the bottom layer, starting from there and selecting the color with the eyedropper tool using the soft round brush quite big in size and painting it from far so that is a different color just making it there similarly repeating this shadow process for the above part also And for the top layer, I'm just making some shadows with a darker color over there and with some bright color with a bright hue. Adding some painted different paint textures, you can see on that the side is well. How they are having different colors and different linear textures. So, trying to add that over here. 
mm-hmm. a low opacity, say 30%, and with a very very tiny brush, and just making some harder shadows and details. And with a hard round brush, I'm going to add that linear cracks or linear details as you can see. Isn't it looking great? Trying to achieve that original look. I'm pretty much happy with the result. So I would go ahead with the next one. And for that, I'm just going to use the top layer. And in the highlight area, with a brighter color, making some again a linear design. Now with another below layer of the pancake, I'm just making a hard and dark and light shadows. And again the similar linear detail. Go as much organic as you could. So it's pretty nice. Now I'm going to add a layer mask for that butter painted layer base color. The top one in a similar way and just paint it with a soft round brush and the darker color selected from the original. Isn't it turning into a 3D thing? Let's have a nice highlight version. For again the highlight, I'm using a lower opacity and painting it up there. So make a flowing butter, or you could use it as a honey flowing thing, and painting the details over there. For that, using the lighter yellow color. The soft brown brush again. Select the colors according to the reference image. Each time, just be peculiar about what kind of color you are using. And for the highlights, I'm going to use the hard round pressure size brush very very tiny say here I'm using 8 point size brush and making the highlights for the blurry areas of the highlights I'm just using a lower size and opacity of soft round brush repeating the process and painting over the another few layer of the honey Completing the details with the last layer of the honey also.
Now just make a background below all of these layers. Make a new layer, select a particular area and make your background below it. I'm using a darker grey for the shadow part for that subject. Again a lower opacity and the soft brown brush bigger in size. I'm just painting as a little shadow. Isn't this looking great guys? I hope you guys enjoyed the session with me and if it is true then make sure you hit the like button for this video, share it with your friend, share your views on this video in the comments below and hit the subscribe button to never miss any such video in future.